So I thought I'd do a little process video for you today. Explain how I'm doing this, how I'm thinking about this, how I'm making my decisions, how I'm losing my needle. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I came down here to the base at uh, about 4.30. And it's about 5.30 now. I've been sitting here sewing my flag. Dejua Heban, which means uh, roughly Tierra y Libertad, roughly uh, Earth and Liberation or Land and Freedom, uh, in Korean obviously. So I've been uh, sewing here, came down here, because I know that 6 p.m. is the base closing time, so there's a lot of cars in and out. And whenever anybody comes down here, uh, they scramble, they hut, 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 and they close the gate. Uh, can't have the gate open while people are around here. Uh, so, anytime a car wants to come through, they gotta close the gate, open the gate, close the gate. Uh, so I'm giving them a workout today, making sure that they gotta close the gate, open the gate, close the gate, open the gate. Uh, and I was thinking about how to do the playback performance today. Because the playback, uh, first was recorded last week on Thursday and the whole premise of playing these back and, and repeating them and uh, reading the poem which is only in Mokyoil today is Thursday is to provide a kind of minimal distance to the base to confuse it disrupt it upset it so that it's uh, it's really hard to thread a needle while you're explaining things um, to disrupt it but obviously it's a week later so today is Thursday so is it gonna be confusing at all or in fact am I just gonna look like a fool actually the other day on Friday when I did the first playback um, the security guard who's tasked with policing and watching us uh, thought it was a moron I thought I had read this whole poem about how it's Thursday and he said, it's Friday. Yeah, exactly, bro. Um, well, today, now I think they know my shtick. Today, they're going to think the same thing. They say, hey, it actually is Thursday. What are you doing? I think of a couple other variations to do. So, uh, the first time I did it here, I did it as a sound mirror. So that meant that I played the sound back at the place where it came. So the sound was reflecting back onto itself. The second time I played it away. So the idea is, uh, suppose you're speaking. Uh, and then 20 feet in front of your voice, your same voice starts playing. Or uh, you're talking and then what you said two days ago starts coming out of the air in front of you. Um, providing again this minimal distressing distance. Then I went to the other side of the bass, uh, to the pier, and I played the sound. This time again along the same trajectory as the first sound, but um, from behind. So again, if we're going to continue this voice metaphor, um, it'd be as if you started speaking and your voice came from behind you through the back of your head. Then yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, I'm never going to get this, I think. I'm going to be struggling for days. Um, yesterday, I went to the west side. So obviously, I'm doing a loop. I'm, I'm getting them all directions. Um, and yesterday, what I did was I played a recorded version of the Korean audio with my English audio. Uh, and while I was doing it, like usual, I made a, a mistake. I always make a mistake when I'm reading. Not on purpose, it's not some uh, grand statement, it's just I'm kind of careless, I think ahead of my mouth. And while I was doing it, I accidentally said the Korean sentence instead of the English sentence. So I was supposed to be reading the English, and then my doppelganger voice was supposed to be reading the Korean. Uh, but then I did both. So they had me thinking, okay, how am I going to use that? Uh, cut to today. I might just give up on this. Cut to today. I am, uh, 
I don't know, I'm nervous for some reason. Today I'm just not in a groove. I'm, I have a little bit of disjunction. I have the disjunction I'm trying to pass along to this base. Um, but I got a tarot card on my tarot app. It was the strength card. And the strength card, I don't know if this is canon or if this is just my app, said, um, today you gotta trust your enemy. You gotta forgive a little bit. Um, and maybe your enemy, oh man, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? We got it. Um, said, you know, you'll, you'll get something out of the thing that you are, are opposing. Well, I'm sitting here and I realized, you know what, I gotta do another Korean one. I, I need I need another version of the Korean voice to sort of bounce through this and to to multiply. But I'm nervous. Because every time I do it, you know, I, you get that adrenaline when you're performing. And my Korean speaking is not good anyway. Uh, but as I get that adrenaline, my my pronunciation, my ability to read, they all seem to vanish. They flee. Uh, so I was thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to take my fear of uh, of what I'm going to be reading, and how do I turn it into the active uh, the active agent of something new, something exciting, something that alters this playback dynamic? I'm going to read along with it, right? It's going to be reading. Yesterday, I screw up and I say the the sentence that I just heard. Why didn't I do that on purpose? Why didn't I do that for the whole thing? So, today that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do playback, sound mirror style. Uh, I'm at the front of the base doing my sewing here. Um, so we're going to do sound mirror style, but this time, instead of English-Korean, English-Korean, interlinear, that's what I did the first time, instead of just uh, Korean, which I did the second time, and instead of Korean, English, Korean, English, recorded, spoken, recorded, spoken, which I've done the other two times. Now we're going to do Korean, Korean, recorded, spoken, recorded, spoken, recorded, spoken. See if it works. We'll see if this is the one that, uh, that undoes the bass. However, here's what I'm going to tell you. Uh, I didn't expect this, but I've been feeling friendly vibes from the bass today. I've been feeling uh, not a lot of hostility from the building. The people, you know, still uh, waving their guns at me and Give me the stink eye, but the bass, I've been getting good vibrations. Now, I might be hallucinating, I might be crazy. That's fine. Um, I'm just reporting what I'm feeling. I gotta be honest with you, my audience. All right, so I'm waiting till I'm gonna wait till 5 50. Uh, you can hang out with me here while I'm doing this sewing, um, and then we're going to kick off and we're going to do this performance. Oh, you know what I should do? I should show you what I got. So here's the mic. That's the mic. It's been recording the whole time. I hope it's still on. Yeah, it's still on. Um, so this is, you know, getting enriched by the thing. We got uh, here. What else do we need? What else do you need to do a playback? Speaker. It's a nice little uh, portable speaker and flashlight. You don't see that every day. That's a pretty neat tool. Uh, so we're gonna play that back, point it at the bass. Then we got the the speaker that, or the, the mic that'll be for another time. We'll use this audio to make another track. Um, and then, oh, I guess my phone. So that's what I'm gonna play the audio through. And then got here handy dandy notebook with a handy dandy poem in it, uh, which I'm going to read along with. I'd be very nervous if I didn't have my sound with me, uh, but I do have my sound with me, so uh, I'm not so nervous, and I am ready to go. Feeling that strength, feeling that strength that I did not expect to find in, in the middle of a nervous day, in the middle of a day that just wasn't going so far. I've been thinking while I'm sewing here, now I gotta kill time. I might have to cut all this, but you know, we make choices in our life. Uh, while I've been sewing, I've been thinking about what kind of, 
what kind of thing I'm doing? What am I thinking about? Uh, not in my brain, but what am I thinking about as I'm, you know, sewing this together? And what I'm thinking about is ripples. Because I got this real thick thread. It's too thick for the job. And every time I go in and out, it's giving me ripples. I'm not getting the flat sort of letter that I expect or want or, or am aiming for in the best possible scenario. And I'm trying to be as perspicacious as I can get and, you know, very delicate and flatten and make the letter as prepped as it can be, and it's still not working. I think, at least my idea is that it's the thread. Um, so just thinking about why do I want that? Why does the, the, the act of sewing want this flatness? Because um, if it's closed, that makes sense. You know, you don't want your clothes bunching up or being in weird tension pulling you around but a flag is a kind of balance between tension and flux tension and flux you know the, the flag itself is tension it's all the fibers bound together in this tightness and this weave um, but it is through there having been bound that they get to flop around and uh, do their little thing and it struck me that that's kind of the the whole do we want to say dialectic of the flag uh, so I don't know if you've ever flown a flag if you have you probably know this um, unless you got a real fancy flag uh, it's gonna be one-sided so you're gonna be a little discombobulated about which side you're showing you're gonna be self-conscious of your leftness and your rightness you're gonna um, think you know, maybe you're marching down the street and you realize you're on the wrong side and your flag is facing toward the wall and the whole other side of the street is just seeing a sort of back print of whatever it is that you spray painted on it or sewed on it maybe they're just seeing your stitches you know maybe they're maybe they're seeing this instead of this well i think there's something to that tension in the the tension and, and freedom of the flag flopping around um, and in the tension and looseness of these stitches which uh, pull too tight but at the same time uh, they give a texture to the thing that otherwise would be inert flat uh, I want to say dead that's a little strong but uh, you know would be would be a different kind of thing there's also a general, let's say, uh, axial age principle of moderation. Uh, you pull too tight, you're going to screw up. Too loose, you're going to screw up. Your letter's going to fall off. So you got to find that uh, happy middle ground, Aristotle and Siddhartha Gautama. I'm sure other people had the principle of moderation. Um, and it's one thing to think about that or to read about that, but I think it's always another to have it occupy hours and hours and hours of your time. And have it occupy not in a way that, you know, it'd be different if I was good at sewing. Probably wouldn't have to think about it too much. I think it'd be different if I was... Uh, uh, doing this for a living or if I had to speed through I'd, you know I'd probably try and get good at it instead of being content with my incompetence um, there's a luxury to to this kind of uh, prayer protest thinking I don't know what this is it's called thinking there's a luxury of this thinking that I'm doing here with this flag um, that I don't take for granted I, do get something special out of continuing to be struggling even if I mean look at that look at that I gotta tug it out you know just bunched up bunched up bunched bunch thinking I'm going for flat thing it's giving me bunch well I'm gonna rely on the wind to work out those kinks uh, hopefully the wind will carry it through 
And then, maybe, the threads will break, the letters will fall off, and some good hard soul will take inspiration from how much time I wasted building this thing. And they will say, well, why don't I fix it? Why don't I repair it? And uh, on repairing it, they'll do a better job, and my letters will become their letters, and they'll lay flatter, and they'll fly smoother, and we'll have a whole bond, me and them, that uh, the letters will know about, but maybe we don't. They'll share the same stitches and the same needles and the same, you know, if we're talking about vibrations of bases, you know, this, this, is a, this is a sine wave, isn't it? I don't know. It's a wave. I don't know what a sine wave is. It's a wave. Okay, it is 5.48. So, I'm going to try and see if I can't figure out where I'm going to stand. Where I'm going to be positioned. I think I'm going to stay back today. I don't know. You know, maybe this is that strength card, but... I need a little strength, and maybe that distance will give it to me. So I'll hang back. Try not to have any confrontations here. They've been pretty chill about the, the performances. I think poetry, for all its um, world-shattering power, tends to put people at ease and make you think that, uh, or make them think that you are harmless. Little do they know, power of poetry. It's one of poetry's powers, is to sneak, sneak through. Okay, let's say it's 549. It is time to go. All right, we're gonna flip around. Head Galijima. Hang book and mock your will. Hang book and mock your will. The Rukian
그럼비가 절장에 갇힌 지 10년째. 그럼비가 절장에 갇힌 지 10년째. 그리나 안, 안 그래? 비가 올지로 모르겠네. 비가 올지로 모르겠네. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 그 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 메 아리가 더려. 메 아리가 더려. 메 아리가 더려. 메 아리가 더려. 넌메 아리야? 넌메 아리야? 난 메리가 아니야. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 동이에. 헷갈리지마. 헷갈리지마. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 난 동이에. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 목요일. 안녕. 기분이 어때? 기분이 어때? 넌 어떻게 존재하죠? 넌 어떻게 존재하죠? 어떤 지역의 기계로 통해서? 어떤 지역의 기계 통해서? 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 그럼 비가 접전계 갇힌지 10년째. 그럼 비가 접전계 갇힌지 10년째. 일시적인 상태. 일시적인 상태. 난 일시적이야. 난 일시적이야. 너도 일시적이야. 너도 일시적이야. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 헷갈리지마. 헷갈리지마. 목. 목. 요. 요. 일. 일. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 야. 목요일. 야! 타자는 타자는 이미지의, 이미지의 당사자야. 내가 걱정돼 동생. 내가 걱정돼 동생. 달고 있구나. 달고 있구나. 진정해. 진정해. 반성해. 반성해. 공명하고 있구나. 공명하고 있구나. 괜찮아. 괜찮아. 넌 너야. 넌 너야. 공명하는 목교에. 공명하는 목교에. 넌내 옆에 있어. 넌내 옆에 있어. 제소 그리를 갖죠. 제소 그리를 갖죠. 이것은 상처가 되겠지. 이것은 상처가 되겠지. 괜찮아. 괜찮아. 지금 넌 너야. 지금 넌 너야. 믿겨봐. 믿겨봐. 지금 주에서 거리를 갖죠. 지금 주에서 거리를 갖죠. 넌 옆에 있어. 넌 내서 옆에 있어. 허리영해. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 눈에 띄는. 눈에 띄는. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘은 9월 2일. 비부 밖에서 있는. 비부 밖에서 있는. 오늘은 목요일. 오늘은 목요일. 비부가 없는. 비부가 없는. 오늘은 9월 2일. 오늘 목요일 나는 방사선이야 난 방사선이야 나도 방사선이야 나도 방사선이야 난내 아리가 아니야 난내 아리가 아니야 난내 아리야 난내 아리야 겹들어 겹들어 더럽기 있는 자는 들으치오다 더럽기 있는 자는 들으치오다 
그럼비가 접친지 접장계 접친지 십년제 그리나 안그래 비가 억지로 머럭거네 그럭 머럭거네 오늘 먹고 일 오늘은 구월 이일 오늘은 먹고 일 오늘은 구월 이일 오늘은 먹고 일 헷갈리지마 행복한 목요일 I tried to cancel it, but you know. Only in Mokyo, eh? Yeah. 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 Only in Google, eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Cool, Randy. Cool, Queen. Cool, Queen. Google, eh? Cool. Eh? Cool. Eh? Cool. Eh? Cool. Eh? Cool. Eh? Cool. 뭐 목요일마다 오는 건가 이제 여기? 목요일이야. 목요일마다 여기? 네, 네, 목요일. Security guard joined me about halfway through. He was uh, videotaping me, which is kind of distressing because I got a whole count of how many times I've done this, and he just added to the count. Uh, I'm gonna lose track one of these days. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn this off and uh, hope this stays chill. All right, that was a little stressful, so uh, we're going for an oceanside debrief here. A little relaxing ocean waves, some uh, some nice scenery, and I'm gonna talk it out. So I gotta say, I was thinking I was Mr. Smart Guy with this strength card, and oh, the strength card is helping me decide my uh, aesthetic technique. Uh, that wasn't it at all, was it? And I was wrong there at the end of the video. Oh no, I'm gonna lose count. Why am I trying to keep count? The point is to uh, reverberate. The point is to, uh, you know, spill my guts. Let my guts keep spilling over and over and over again uh, without me having to, you know, be here every day doing the work. And I've been trying to embed that in the in the concrete and the steel and the plastic of the base. But brother just did it for me. He's got the video now. He's gonna show that video to somebody? I hope, you know. God willing. He's gonna show that video to somebody? Maybe they're gonna pass it along? Uh, uh, maybe it'll just sit in a hard drive, you know? Taking up space. Forever and ever and ever. Never stopping, just sitting there. Those bits and bites, I'm gonna fall on my ass. Um, let's see if I can avoid that. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Here we are. Water's edge. So he did it for me. He's got the video. He's got the recording. He's got me speaking into the wind. Uh, and he's gonna keep it for me. I'm gonna keep it for myself and the bass will keep it for all of us and we'll just sort of vibrate back and forth. I gotta say, he threw me. I was flustered. I was, uh, uh, I was doing good, I think. I think I was doing all right. He came along and ooh, those nerves shot up. Uh, but you know, that's, that was the strength card, you know? It's gonna be the thing that I'm nervous about, the thing that I'm fearing, the thing that I'm not feeling great about, that's gonna be my greatest ally. Because he's gonna take video, and that video is gonna, gonna help me do my work. All right. Feels good to say that. It feels good to get that out. I, I feel, you know, I was feeling nervous, feeling not great at the end of that. 
Although, another enemy, uh, enemy gift. I forgot that they play the national anthem at 6 p.m. So we got the national anthem in there, embedded in. Oh man, can we see Hollisan from here? No, it's a beautiful clear day though. Uh, we're close. That's a good sound. It's the kind of sound that wears away at a base over time. That's the kind of sound that just wears away your worries. Okay, I'm feeling good. I think I'm gonna stop this recording and just relax here for a while and see what happens. Hope this has been illuminating.